guys, it is Nikki Crow, your training sales connection here at Red Hat. Hope you guys are having a fabulous week. Um, purpose of today's video, to show you guys how to purchase an RHCE exam voucher. I had several of you reach out and ask that I do a video on this, which I had already done the video on the RHCSA. So I appreciate you guys reaching out. And if you took the time to reach out, well, guess what? I'm going to take the time to create that video for you. Um, as you guys know, I, of course, I'm going to walk you through how to do it and show you the steps versus just talking at you. So let me go ahead and share my screen. And I am going to do this a little bit differently this time. Just waiting to make sure I'm sharing my screen. Uh, so if you are looking at the RHCE certification. It kind of implies that you already have your RHCSA certification. Now, there are posts out there, there are rumors, I see them, they all make me slightly cringe. <laughs> um, but to clarify things, you do have to have your RHCSA certification in order for the RHCE certification to be valid. Now, will they allow you to take the class? Will they allow you to take the exam? Absolutely, but it will not hold any standing if you do not have the RHCA certification. So because of that, and because of needing to have the RHCSA certification, it kind of implies that you've been through this uh, process before you have a Red Hat account. So the first step I'm going to show is through your Red Hat account. So I've already taken the time to pull up my Red Hat account, and hopefully you can see my screen. <laughs> um, but this is going to be my account here. You guys can see that my, my name is listed right here. Right here in the search bar, um, I'm gonna type EX294. That is the version eight RHCE exam voucher. RH, and now remember the version seven no longer exists. Um, the last date to purchase that in the U.S. was July 1st, and the last day to purchase it globally was October 1st of 2020. So right now, the only exam voucher that is available is at version 8, which is EX294. So we're going to pop that in, press our search bar, and it's going to pull up two options. Why it gives two options? I have no clue. They are the same thing. <laughs> so EX294 V8, which means version eight. This is the version eight exam voucher. We're simply going to add it to cart and then it'll pop into your shopping cart and then you will check out. So that's pretty simple, right? If you are looking at taking the course as well, the course number is gonna be RH294. So again, if we just pop that in, hit search, it is going to pop up a couple of different options. If we're wanting to do a VT, which is that virtual training, that live virtual session, it's going to pop up all the sessions that are coming up. They're pretty much doing this course weekly, um, which is great news if you're trying to get certification before the end of the year. So they'll pop up the dates right here. If you want them, you add to your cart. Um, if you look further down, you'll see that there's RH294R, and RH294VC. Now R and VC are both versions of the self-paced course. Um, so R will be that traditional self-paced learning where it's primary, uh, primarily reading and PDFs. And then VC will be self-paced and it's video classroom. So it's going to be a pre-recorded video of the instructor going through materials. Now, both of the self-paced formats, you will have access for 90 days from the date of purchase. And you'll also have access to the labs. But again, if you're interested in a course, it's as simple as adding it to your cart and checking out. Now, for some reason, if you do not uh, have access to your Red Hat account, we of course can purchase through the um, website as well. So I'm going to go to redhat.com. I'm going to go under learning and support. You guys know I love this all certification link that is under training and certification. We're going to click on that. 
This page, of course, is going to bring up a hyperlink to each of our certification information pages. We're talking about RCE, so of course we're going to click on that link. Now you'll notice that this page looks slightly different than the OpenShift one and the RHCSA. The other two had tabs at the top uh, where you could click and they had exam um, objectives and hyperlinks to the class and hyperlinks to the um, exam vouchers. This one is going to be slightly different. What we really want to focus on right now is this middle block that says uh, infographic. We're going to hit the download today button and download of course and then what this is going to do is it's going to pull up a learning path or a vis visual representation of hey here's where you start here's where you end so if your ultimate goal is to get rhce and you've not completed the rhcsa here are your steps above to get to this point and then once you have your rhcsa here are the steps to get to your RHCE. Anytime you're looking at a learning path like this and there is a red box, that is a required prerequisite. A lot of times you'll see a prerequisite that it's just um, strongly recommended. This is not the case, this is required. We're not really, really gonna pay attention to the left side of this page. This is about version seven. Uh, remember, version 7 no longer exists as far as being able to purchase a new course or a new exam voucher. If you've already purchased the version 7 exam voucher, it is valid for 12 months from the date of purchase. But again, since they are no longer uh, available for sale, we're going to focus on the version 8. It's very simple. There is one course that leads up to it in one exam. So RH-294 and EX-294. So now that we have our course numbers, um, unfortunately you can't click on the subway, it's not a live hyperlinked uh, learning path, but we can go back and we're gonna go under learning and support, all courses and exams, and then right here in the search bar, we're going to either type in our exam number, our course number, what, whatever you are trying to find. And a lot of times when you pull up the exam number, look what's right next to it, the course number, which is awesome. So right now I want to focus on the exam because that's what I told you guys this video is on. We're simply going to click on this. It's going to pop up the uh, exam information page. I would highly, highly recommend that you look this over, especially let's say if you are used to the version seven, version eight did add some Ansible knowledge to the exam back in July of 2020. Um, so again, if you're not familiar with Ansible, you've not worked on it, I would strongly recommend that you look at the course, you look at the objectives for both. I do not want you to be surprised when you go in and take that exam and you're like, whoa, there's Ansible here. Um, as far as the format, it should automatically pop up the individual exam format, but if it does not, please click on that. Right now, because of the epidemic, they have canceled all of the classroom exams, so we want to focus on that individual exam. We're going to hit get started. Uh, before we hit get started, just to go over very quickly, uh, it's always going to list the price. So it's $400 um, or US dollars or two training units. There has been some confusion on this training units. That is just another way to purchase the course. Um, there's a confusion that you earn training units and then you can get a free course. Unfortunately, that is not the case. Again, it's just a way to purchase the exam voucher or the course. So we have our format as individual exam. We're gonna hit the red get started button. It's gonna pull up one SKU again. So EX 294 V8, remember that's the version eight. We're simply gonna add it to our cart. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> and then eventually when it connects, uh, we would hit checkout, we would follow the instructions. Um, 
and then we would pay for the voucher and it would pop into our account. Now, remember that whenever you do any type of purchase on Red Hat, it does take one to three business days for the enrollments to fully process. Um, with an exam voucher, you are not purchasing a time slot at this point. You are purchasing an exam voucher. If it helps you to think of that as a ticket, you are purchasing a ticket to be able to take the exam. Uh, once your enrollment has fully processed, you'll be able to access the exam voucher right here in your Red Hat account, either under my orders or under my learning. You'll be able to access it right there. Um, you will see that there is going to be a launch scheduler option. When you hit the launch scheduler option, it's going to take you to that active calendar where you can pick your time slot. Now, if you're going to be doing the remote exam, please, please, please pay attention to the time that you pick. Remember, Red Hat is pretty much a global company, which means we are offering these exams and uh, remote exam times pretty much 24 seven. So they do have the time listed in a 24 hour format uh, versus, you know, in um, 1 a.m., 1 p.m. So if you pick one, it's more than likely going to be one in the morning versus one in the p.m one in the p.m., sorry, one in the afternoon. <laughs> so please, please, please be very aware of what time that you pick. Um, one of the reasons a lot of people love the individual exam vouchers is it actually is going to give you the opportunity to go to a testing center if there's one open uh, around you. So you can do the test in person or you will have the option of taking it remotely. So that's, I'm gonna share, stop sharing my screen and. That's pretty much it. That's how you're going to purchase an RHCE exam voucher. As always, if you have questions, you have concerns, let me know. I always list my email address below and uh, definitely love hearing from you guys. Hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.